Okay. Welcome back <laughs> to Sister Circle Live. She's the Grammy-nominated singer best known for her chart-topping single, Young Hearts Run Free. Despite her professional success and personal dedication to health and wellness over the course of her life, last summer she became one in the 3.1 million women faced with fighting breast cancer in this country. After kicking triple negative cancers behind, she is now cancer free and advocating for early detection. Please welcome Candy Staten. <laughs> Woohoo! Welcome to Sister Circle. Thank oh, you so much Sister for Circle. coming. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to jump into your personal business here. Okay, sure. So, a long time ago, mm. you coined Gospel, gospel, mm -hmm. a fusion of gospel music yeah. and gospel. disco. Yes, gospel. Yeah, uh, uh, disco music and gospel music. Yeah. So with everything in the music industry shifting, you know, because we're they're starting to add a lot of collaborations between the secular world and the gospel mm -hmm. world, and yeah. you were one of the pioneers, yeah. one of the front runners. Yeah. So how do you feel like gospel music has changed, especially with this fusion? It's changed a lot, um, and we have to change. Yes. We have to change with the times. The young people's ears are tuned mm -hmm. now to hip hop yes. and other things like that, so we have to get there yes. so we can draw people. Yes, ma'am. And you know I'm a Christian. Yes, ma'am, all day. <laughs> yes. And I'm trying to draw, draw you to Jesus. That's so, right. So we're, oh, we're, I just call it gos Gosco. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we you do gospel lyrics with the disco beat. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. you can lean with a rock with what the Lord do, you know? <laughs> but, but you caught a lot of flack for that. So how was how was that? It was bad. It really was. You know, I didn't expect all of mm. that, but uh, I was a little bit before my time. time. Yes, ma'am. And mm -hmm. now you look at Kurt Franklin, you look at all these yes, other people, and they're, they're there now. And uh, I said, well, I'm just like an innovator. Yes, ma'am. You know, I go before, don't get much credit for it, and then the guys, and I don't care. Ooh, I don't care because right. I'm not doing that's it right. for myself. That's right. I'm doing it for the kingdom. Okay. Well, you are, we're going to paint this picture. 78 years old musician, mm -hmm. diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, no, it was 79. Okay. I was 79. I'm Oof. I'll be 80. Wow. Good Lord. We just March. don't crack. It's I'm going to get me an 80 birthday party. You ain't going to believe it. Right baby. now. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. But tell, tell us how you felt. Walk us through the moment you found I, your diagnosis. Um, I found a knot. I mm. found a, a lump in my, my left breast. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was just, you know, just something that was going to go away. Mm -hmm. And then I kept thinking funny about it because it didn't feel normal. Yes, so I called my gynecologist and he said, come in right now. Mm -hmm. He felt it, he said, it doesn't feel suspicious. He said, but I'm gonna see you get a biopsy. So he did and it came back uh, negative. I did have breast cancer, but I didn't believe it, Trina. I just, did, oh. I couldn't believe oh. it. That is the worst news you can ever get in your lifetime. I was in shock. I'm standing there like, you're wrong. I, you didn't say carcinoma, right? right? You said no carcinoma? Okay, he, she says, no, mm. you have cancer. She just had to do oh, it. She came on out with it. She said, you oh. have cancer. I said, oh my God. I took three biopsies just to prove that I didn't, but they all came back negative. Oh. But it was it was a hard journey, Trina. Yes, ma'am. It's hard. But w with the chemo and yeah. the radiation mm -hmm. and going through surgery, yeah. what, was, what was your biggest fear? My biggest fear was chemo. I heard so many horror stories about chemo. Yes, ma'am. You know, throwing up and all that. Let's just get real. Mm -hmm. You know, and all the sickness that goes along with it and the side effects that goes with it. I told my doctor, I said, I'm not taking it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the right doctor. I went to CTCA, okay, Cancer okay. Treatment mm -hmm. Center. Yes, ma'am. I mm -hmm. had a doctor that was like my uncle. Yes, ma'am. He said, you taking it. I said, okay. okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to listen. Sometimes oh, okay. you just have to listen. Oh, okay. Well, and you know, cancer has just been such a big bully and it just seems to be running rampant it is. lately, it's especially it's lately. Mm -hmm. And it's taken away. You're one of your closest and dearest friends, Mr. Aretha, Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Aretha, Aretha Franklin, uh, I, just so many of my friends have gone. Uh, Billy Paul, mm. oh, and all of these guys, they just, everybody's just seem to be dying of cancer. I'm like, is it a cancer epidemic? Well, it, it feels that way. Yeah. It, it truly it's feels like that way. On the walls of CTCA, it says one out of every eight. Oh, Lord. You think about it. One person walking in this world out of every eight has cancer oh. in America. 
There's a lot of us in this room. I'm just saying it. Yeah. It's, it's scary. It, it really, is. really is. But let's talk about your album. Okay. Unstoppable. Oh my God. It's self-explanatory. I got the diagnosis. I was on my way to rehearsal. We had just released it and I was with 30 Tigers mm -hmm. and we were getting ready to have, we had a whole crew, we had everything lined up and the very moment I'm on my way to my first rehearsal for my promotional tour mm -hmm. in America. Whoa. Haven't been in America Ooh. for years. You know, I don't play America, but uh, cause I'm never invited, but I do Europe. Okay. I draw 60 something yeah. thousand people in Europe yeah. at the Glastonbury, Fest Glastonbury Festival. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm well known in Europe. So I call Europe, I said, well, you know, so they keep me busy. Yes, ma'am. But um, I'm on my way to the, my American uh, uh, you know, just promotional tour, yes. and I get the n news. Well, well, welcome to America for your show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no meat, no alcohol, mm -mm. Uh, and you become an avid advocate for mm -hmm. breast cancer awareness. Yes. Has this, has this lifestyle changed in any way, and is it a part of your advocacy? Yes, it is. Um, I try to get more rest. I try not to stress out, you know, and freak out. Yes. You know, you know they told me, she, I asked her, we did the genealogy, gene, you know, genealogy, uh, genealogy yes, test mm -hmm. to see it was in my bloodline. No, I'm an isolated wow. case. She said, it's your lifestyle. I mean, look at us. Six o'clock. Yeah. In the morning, having five o'clock getting up coming here. Yes, ma'am. But, <laughs> but you look amazing. You're almost 80 years old in March. You have no intentions of slowing down, and you shouldn't no, because you look no. absolutely amazing. Well, uh, thank you, Trina. Yes, and congratulations <laughs> on being a survivor. I am. You know what? I give the glory to God. Amen. The Amen. weapon formed, but it couldn't prosper. That's right. That's, That's right. I That's love right. God for that. He no. said it won't work. It won't he work. Said. No. That's what he said. <laughs> well, we are, thank you so much for coming here today. You're always welcome to Sister Circle. And guess what, guys? You can find her anywhere. It's called Unstoppable on all digital streaming platforms. And to get more info about early detection and more, please visit breastcancer.org.